Welcome back to the woods. Um, this video is about hunting and uh, my quick thoughts on the air gun I'm using. If you don't like hunting or seeing dead animals, uh, this isn't the video for you. Um, I'm out here today with my Umarex Notos 22 cal PCP with a very old and abused RWS 4x32. And when I say old and abused, um, 15 years ago I had a little Gamo Recon. I used it for my pest control rat gun. This was a scope that was on it. It's a single crosshair, no meal dot, no, no kind of adjustments. Just uh, besides the AO. Uh, it's a basic scope. I left it sit outside for 15 years in the sun. It used to be black. That's why it's gold now. The sun. But it still does what it's supposed to do. It has a crosshair. I doubt you'll get any good view out of that. It's nothing fancy. It does a job. On to the hunting aspect. There's a squirrel. I got him at uh came around the trail right here. And in the fork of that tree, where it's broken 30 yards away. A little squirrel ran through the leaves. He stopped up there. I took him. One shot, dropped to the ground, it was done. This is a budget gun. Let me let me take it off and show you. It's only a three hundred dollar gun. On one field, you get twenty, a good twenty shots. But I would like to say fourteen shots are really accurate. And uh, after 15 shots fired, you know, you start getting low on pressure. So your, sh your shot strength starts shifting a little lower. Not much. But for a good 14 shots, it's accurate. I'm using cheap Crossman Premiers. The hollow points, CPHPs they're called. You can buy them anywhere. Walmarts, hardware stores. It comes with a 7-shot magazine. The magazines are terrible. Um, usually I use a single shot tray out of my three magazines is the only magazine that's pretty much trouble free every now and then you go to open the bolt and as you close it the pellet doesn't go through you have to wig wiggle the magazine and the pellet goes through but they do make aftermarket magazines for about 20 bucks that are way better than stock supply ones but the notos itself is a light package I believe the gun itself is around four pounds. My scope's probably a pound. And then my mount. So you're looking at under six six pound package, single point sling. Um it's a good um it's a it's a good I say backpack gun, but it's it's not really feasible for a backpack. You can undo four bolts, the stock removes and it becomes a long pistol. The moderator is non-removable, but it does a really good job. The gun is very quiet. Um, I feel the 3600. Um, I've already fired about three rounds out of it at 3600. So on average, seven shots, one mag is 500 PSI. Um, from 2500 to 3500 PSI is, is really where it's very accurate. You can shoot down to 2000. I believe the regulators are preset around 18, 1900 PSI in this gun. To where once you drop below 2000, it, your power falls off fast. It's, it's not really powerful enough to shoot anything except cans. But you only get a few shots before it's out of air completely. But uh, the gun itself is pretty good quality. The bolt is smooth. The action is smooth. The weight is nice. I wish I had a better foregrip. But I mean for $300, it's fine just the way it is. Uh, there's a lot of aftermarket accessories you can buy for the Notos. Um, the triggers, it's adjustable. I mean, triggers all right. It's probably like a three or three or four pound trigger. It's got a first stage. You can pull through the first stage. You feel it creep a little bit, and then you'll feel it stop. That's when it hits the second stage. The a pull from there, about three pounds, sets the sear off and gives it a nice clean break but the, the trigger could be better i don't know if they make aftermarket triggers for this thing yet or better springs but the trigger could definitely use some work maybe it wearing over time i've got about 300 rounds fired on this one so far this has a very reliable platform except for the magazine everyone's got complaints about the stock magazine 
and uh, their solution is to buy at the market. I was going to try to find a problem with the original magazine, but it seems like it's an off-center problem. Like the um, the bore where the boat passed through is it's off-centered, and it allows the pellet to cock sideways in, in the magazine and damages the skirts of the pellets. So even when the magazine is working, it still damages the skirts of the pellets. Um, there's a video by, I think, uh, Maple. I don't remember the full name of his channel, but he makes a, one of the aftermarket magazines for this gun. And he shows the difference between a stock magazine and his magazines. And the damage is caused by the, by the pellet cocking and bending the skirt of the pellet, which affects accuracy. As far as the power, I haven't ran it with a chronograph, but I would assume it's a good mid-700 gun, which is perfect for squirrels and rats. Uh, this squirrel didn't stand a chance. I entered through the neck. Uh, I don't believe it exited. Some squirrels it makes it exit. Oh, it didn't exit. The pellet's in his elbow, so his arm must have been to the side when I shot. I feel the pellet in the elbow. And uh, it looks like he was getting his last meal. It really was his last meal. And there's a boy. We've got uh, currently, I think, a little over two weeks, maybe two weeks left on our squirrel and rabbit season. So every time I come back here, I try to walk back here at least once a day. This is my second second run today. This morning I, I let two small rabbits go, a couple of squirrels. Uh, this one I couldn't let, let go. He's just right there out in the open. So it was his time. Uh, I'm thankful for this one and the few more I have in my freezer. I'm going to try to stock up before the season ends. And we do have another squirrel season coming. I want to say either the end of March or maybe May. I think May. It's spring squirrel season. We've got three weeks in May. So that'll be my next squirrel season if I hunt them. Um, my family doesn't eat squirrel. Um, you know, name my channel Southern Life and down here we eat everything including tree rats so i'm pretty much just stocking up squirrel to, for me to make a meal for myself um bag limit is eight per day i think throughout this whole season from october to the end of february this makes squirrel number seven that i have in my freezer and i have four rabbits so i don't think i'm being greedy at all there's uh, many months of hunting and that's that's all I managed to gather I didn't hunt it hard I'm not in a bind for meat but I like the ability of knowing I can come out here at any time and just provide food out on a small piece of property but anyway the review is about the gun if you're looking for something for pest control rats pigeons or maybe some dove hunting squirrel rabbit this is a good gun for that it's low power it's quiet it's it's pretty cheap it's pretty efficient on the air it does require a high pressure pump either a hand pump but being it has this is a small tank it's not so bad to pump with a hand pump but i, I do have an electric compressor if i shoot down to 2000 psi within 30 seconds on my compressor it's back up to 3600 um, it's really quick to feel and then my notos and many other ones like cheap pellets the crossman premier hollow points they're normally seven bucks for 500. i i love picking up guns that that like those rounds because they're easily available whereas i've owned a lot of guns that were pellet picky you had to buy some expensive rounds from online only and when you're out you're at the mercy of waiting a week if you can find the pellet your gun likes in stock so i'm very happy this one likes cphps so yeah, for light hunting, there's a good gun to have. Or, uh, you know, you could, you could put it in like a bug out kit. You know, if, if things go south, there's a quiet, efficient way of providing food. Um, that's pretty much all the guns are good for. I wouldn't say it's good for self-defense, although I'm, I'm sure... It wouldn't be nice getting shot in the face with one of these to ch chase an intruder out of your yard. But yeah, the gun's pretty good. I like it. This is actually my second one. My first one had a problem when the barrel was undersized. I'm, I'm sorry, oversized. 
I could push a pellet through by hand and it would push through with no effort and it would exit with no rifling on it. And I just, it shot fine, just didn't have no accuracy. And which if you know a little bit about pellet guns, you, you want a pretty tight bore, just, just like a, a rifle the same way, you want a tight bore. Well, uh, I'm, I've talked too much, I'm gonna end this video. Just, I'm just recovering from the flu. For those of you that watch my videos, you can hear my voice sounds different. And that's why we've been trying to isolate ourselves away from everyone else. And one of the ways I, I do that is I come spend time in my woods, which is not a bad thing to do. Um, the animals don't like it. You know, I enjoy it. Uh, thank you all for viewing. Any questions, comments, or if, you, if you're thinking about getting a, a nice little budget PCP air gun, for uh, small game hunting, uh, look at the Umarex Notos. Just uh, keep in mind when you order your gun, do your research and get some aftermarket magazines. But the gun does come with a single shot tray. It's not too difficult to load the single shot tray. I'm fine with it being, being single shot, but being I have one magazine that works 90% of the time, uh, I'm gonna use it until it doesn't work anymore. Uh, after that, I'm gonna either resort to a single shot, which is it's not bad. You just get a faster follow-up with a magazine or I'll look into eventually buying an aftermarket magazine. Uh, stock magazine, seven rounds. They make aftermarket, a seven round aftermarket, a 10 and a 15 round aftermarket. But the bigger the magazine, the more clearance you need for the scope. Uh, my mounts are already too low, which is another complaint about this gun. So if you plan on using a uh, scope mounts, these are medium mounts. It's, it's, it's bare minimum of what's required to lay your cheek against the gun and, ha and have a good optical view through your scope. High mounts are recommended. And, uh, especially if you're getting an aftermarket 15 round magazine. It puts the magazine way up higher. You're going to need some high rise mounts. But yeah, see you on the next one. Appreciate y'all.